Okay, we have a Nextbook Flex 9 tablet laptop uh, crossover, if you want to call it that. It will not turn on. Uh, from what I understand, this is a somewhat common issue on these. Thankfully, it has a really easy fix. Basically, we're just going to separate the two halves. We don't need the keyboard for this. There are four Phillips screws on the bottom. I do have to say it's nice to see a tablet that actually uses Phillips screws on the outside instead of some special security screw. All four are the same. You don't have to worry about which one goes where. Okay, and now that we've got that, we just use a spudger or pry tool. Um, this particular one, I like to use a much thinner spudger, which is why I'm using this instead of the one I typically use. Start near the middle here on either side of the center brace points. Uh, these are actually part of the back. Everything else stays with the screen. So it doesn't have any clips in the middle here, which is why you can kind of use it to start to pry up and then after that work your way over to the sides. There are magnets so it'll kind of grab your tool and feel weird but um, right at about this point and this point there are some clips that you have to pry it outwards from below. So basically what we're trying to do is lift the wide part outwards There we go, got this side. And there's the other side. And you can see there's actually a wide clip here and two narrow clips here. Actually, uh, two narrow clips on both sides over here. So once you do that, just follow it around the edge a little bit. There's another clip right in the corner. And one just past it. Do that on each side. And notice you don't just want to stick it in and twist, you want to stick it in and lift like this. So you're kind of scooping under to pull the wide part of the plastic outwards. Otherwise you'll wind up breaking the clips. The rest of it just snaps off and flips up. Now we are into the tablet. There are magnets across the top of this that are not actually glued in. Actually there are magnets all the way around it, but specifically the ones at the top seem to like to just fall out and wind up where they shouldn't be. If you notice that yours has done this, just push them back in there. You just have to get them just in exactly the right spot and then they'll stay. Okay, so now to the actual fix. Really simple, we're just disconnecting the battery. Battery has a slide clip. We just need to slide it outwards. Of course, you don't want to pull on the wires, but there you go. I just had a little bit of pressure and on this side, lift it up with a screwdriver. Let it sit this way for, you know, two, three seconds. And we'll put it back together. And we should see, you can see that magnet fell again. We should see if we hold down the power button, it should turn on. And there it finally came up. Now that had quite a bit of a delay you know, after I let go of the power button before it actually started to come up. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. It does say next book there. But that is all it takes to get it up and running. Reassembly, pretty straightforward. Just make sure that the magnets are where they belong. Lay the top in first.
And just kind of work your way down the sides. And of course the magnets like to grab the screws. And there we have it. Tablet is back up and running as you can see. It's at a lock screen. And we'll call that a success.